force me to clean my closet. I don't like diaries of a shopping addict. Welcome to or back to my channel if you've never seen this face before. My name is Shauna and you should definitely subscribe because I post new videos every single week. And this week, I'm gonna be talking about the best way to earn money off your old clothes. If you're like me and you have a crap ton of clothes and a shopping addiction, you probably have quite the collection. And there's a pretty high chance that you're not wearing everything that's in your closet. So why not make some money off of things that you don't even use anymore? Quick disclaimer before we start, if you're watching this video in like present time and it's 2020 and you're in quarantine. I actually started filming this video in February when I was on reading week like when I was home from school but I didn't get to finish filming it because I had to go back to school and like the places I wanted to visit were here like in my hometown so I postponed it to the next time I was coming home but then the next time I came home it was because my university shut down and I was forced to return and isolate from corona yay fun stuff so I never finished this video and the footage has just been sitting on my computer for the longest time and I was like you know what I'll just finish the video I might not have all the footage that I want for it because I cannot go out to these places so I wrote everything down on this piece of paper and I also have footage from me trying all the different things selling your old clothes is one it's better for the environment because you're not just throwing away clothes you're reusing reducing recycling whatever like you know it's good for the planet and also there's a way to make money off it and yes you can also donate your clothes to charities or thrift stores or any other foundations like that so I do a closet clear out every single year if you guys have seen any of those past videos I will have them all here and it's only appropriate to sell clothes that you bought with your own money or if it's okay with the people who bought it for you if that makes sense just like just being a good person okay so I have my list and I'm gonna be just talking about it and showing you guys clips of what's going on and hopefully this will help you because you know it never hurts to just have a little bit of extra cash on you and to clear out your closet so the first app I like to use is Facebook marketplace slash Kijiji I think Kijiji is only Canadian I might be mistaken but I'm pretty sure it's just Canada it's basically like Facebook marketplace where you can list your own items anything from clothes household appliances cars literally anything you can list on Kijiji and you put your own price, you put your general location where you are, your description, your own photos, how much you want, all that good stuff and you list yourself. And similarly to Facebook Marketplace, you probably know via Facebook. So I basically just grouped Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji in the same category just because they're extremely similar. I've been using both those platforms for a couple years now. I've sold more than just clothes. I've also sold like just things around my room, just like accessories, electronics, appliances, just random crap you can get rid of there and you can find cool stuff on there. But this video is not about buying stuff, it's about selling stuff. So the biggest pro about Facebook Marketplace slash Kijiji is that you can keep all the profits you can list whatever you're selling at your own price and you can negotiate. The cons are that you have to meet the person yourself. You have to be aware of scammers. Um, and if you are doing like a shipping with that person, if they don't live close to you, you have to deal with that shipping cost and transaction yourself. And if you're meeting up with someone, then you have to drive that distance and obviously driving costs gas. When I have a piece of clothing that I want to sell, if it's brand name, then I list it on Facebook slash Kijiji first. I list it on both those apps just because it's different People use those platforms, but they're basically the same. Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace is the best for brand names. And again, if you're watching this in current time, you can't necessarily go meet people. That's not the safest. Don't do that. You can offer porch pickups, which is either um, you'll leave the item on your porch and they can come and pick up the item and drop off the money on your porch. Or you can go drop off the item like at their house for an extra charge and they'll leave the money out on the porch, something like that. And if you are going to meet people when we're out of quarantine, always one, meet in a public area. Bring someone with you if you're not like an adult or even if you're just uncomfortable, always go with someone and make sure you're in a public place just to be safe. I've definitely sold over like 30 things on Facebook Marketplace slash Kijiji in the past year, that being clothes or random things. It's a really great place as long as you're safe about it. So that brings me to the second option, which is consignment stores. So there's two type of consignment stores. There's one where you bring in all your clothes and they will go through it and then pay you for the items that they want to keep, which is like Plato's Closet. This video is not sponsored by any of these apps or companies. I'm just talking from my own personal experience. So with Plato's Closet, you bring in your big bag of clothes. They go through it. it usually takes them like half an hour to go through it. 
they will find the items that they want to keep and resell in their own store. They resell their items from 50 to 70 percent of its value and they give you 30 to 40 percent of their selling price. I sold a couple bags of clothes to them but I don't feel like I get the value that I really want from them. Like there's a shirt I know that's worth way more but because I'm only getting 30 to 40 percent I'm only getting like a couple bucks for it. But the great thing about a place like Plato's Closet is that it's instant cash. Like, like you go in you don't have to wait for someone to buy it. You just go in they take your clothes and then you get the cash and you're done. And the second type of consignment store is where you only make the money if someone buys it. So again I would only go to that type of store if you're selling something brand name. So for example I had my old prom dress sitting in my closet. I spent quite a lot of money on it. Not that much but it was the most expensive dress I've ever bought obviously and of course I'm never gonna wear it again. I knew I was gonna sell it after I bought it anyways when I went to prom. This was also my first prom dress not my second. I went to two different proms because my boyfriend's a year older than me so when I went to his prom I bought a dress and when I went to my prom, I designed it and had it made. Kind of fun if you want to watch it somewhere on my channel. <laughs> so I'm not selling that dress. I'm talking about my old prom dress that I bought, not the one I got made for me. Anyways, an example of a consignment store like that, it's called Play It Again Val. It's pretty close to where I live. If you're in the area and you know what that is or if you've heard of it, it's a really great place. And they're known especially for their prom dresses. So if you have a prom dress or a grad dress that's just sitting in your closet, you know you're never gonna wear it, it doesn't really have sentimental value, go sell it. So how it works is you bring your dress there, they check it out, you tell them how much you paid for it, and they will give you 50% of what it sold for. How it works is just I keep checking in with them to see if it's sold, they also have an Instagram page so I can just see if someone bought it. And once it is, then I go in and I collect my cash and we're good. But obviously right now, a lot of proms are being canceled, so if my dress is still there and no one bought it, they're just gonna hold it until the next season, but that is a really great way if you're trying to get rid of a grad dress or prom dress or just a fancy ass dress that you have or other brand name clothing. They do take some of your profits and it's kind of a lot of work to keep checking up if it's been sold. Like it's too much for them to call you just because everything in a consignment store is from someone else. So it'd be a lot for them to make a call every single sale. So it's up to you to contact them if your item has been sold. So another way that you can be fully in charge of your own sales is an app like Poshmark or Depop or a slight little like subsection I got here here is making your own Instagram page to sell your clothes. I've never personally tried this, but I've seen quite a few people do this on Instagram where they just make like a Instagram page with so-and-so's closet and then they sell all their clothes. This is a great way to just be in charge of all of your clothes that you're selling, but the biggest cons about it having an Instagram page to sell your clothes is one, you have to deal with the shipping or drop-offs all on your own. And for me, that stresses me out, like shipping items and like knowing how much shipping is gonna cost but then you have to tell them how much it's gonna cost and it's just a lot of work. Your page might not get a lot of traction. If you have a huge following and then make an Instagram, that'll probably be fine. But if you're just like, you know, have a normal Instagram account, you're probably not gonna get a lot of traction to your page and not a lot of people are gonna find it. But you do get to keep your own profits with Instagram, but then you have to pay for shipping and deal with all that. So Instagram is just like a little subsection to Poshmark slash Depop apps like that that are built to sell clothes on. Poshmark and Depop both I've heard a lot. Um, I chose to use Poshmark just because I asked a couple of my friends what they think of the two and I believe with Poshmark you keep more of the earnings and with Depop you have to deal with your own shipping like you still have that stress of figuring out how much shipping is gonna cost and everything but with Poshmark what I really love about it is that they do the shipping for you. When you make a sale on Poshmark they email you the shipping label and you just tape it on top of your box. You don't have to worry about the weight and whatever and if it's a bit heavy then you have to pay a little bit more but usually it's within the shipping label that they provide for you so that leaves absolutely no stress for shipping again this is not sponsored this is just informative but Poshmark has a lot of traction there's a lot of users already on the app because that is what it's made for to sell your old clothes for all sales under $15 Poshmark only takes a flat commission of $2.95 and you keep the rest for sales of 15 or more you keep 80% of your sale and Poshmark takes only 20%. So that's pretty much the best rate that I've seen from all of the other sites. That's a better rate than consignment stores. With Poshmark, you can pick your own prices. It's very organized. You can choose like 
what type of clothes you're selling, the brand name, you can update the sizes, all of those details that you would wanna see as a buyer. Also, people can offer you bundles or you can offer them bundles. Like if they buy multiple items on your closet, you can make deals with them and everything. And that's already a high transaction site. If you guys wanna look me up on Poshmark, my handle is Shauna Diaz with two Zs at the end. The biggest reason I love Poshmark is cause it handles all the shipping for you. Like once someone buys my order, I get the email for their shipping label. I put their order in a box, write a cute little note, slap that shipping label on and then boom, it's done. And I send it in the mailbox. So now that I've touched upon the three different ways I use to sell clothes, I'm just gonna to touch upon like how I go about it. So first, if it's a brand name item, I will post it on Facebook slash Kijiji for probably like a week just to see if anyone wants it. And if they're not getting any transaction, I drive over to Plato's closet, bring my bag of clothes, they go through it, take what they want. So I kind of just take the clothes that I know aren't gonna sell on Facebook and Kijiji and I bring it over there. So whatever clothes they give back, like the clothes they didn't take, that is when I post everything on my Poshmark. So. Even if I have something on Facebook or Kijiji, I will also post it on my Poshmark. And if someone buys it off Poshmark, make sure you instantly take the ad off Kijiji or vice versa. Like if you sell on Facebook, take it off Poshmark so someone doesn't buy it and then you don't have the item anymore. So that is all my tips and advice on making money off your old clothes. I hope this was in some way helpful or maybe even inspired you to clean out your closet because mine, I'm so happy I cleared it out because it was oh, it was so messy and just nasty and a mess and I had way too many clothes. I still have way too many clothes. I plan to cut my closet in half. I maybe only took out like 20%, but you know what? That's better than nothing. If you guys want to shop my Poshmark, I will have it linked down below. If you guys want to make any bundles or send me offers, feel free. I am trying to get rid of clothes. Because then, if you make money off your old clothes, you have more money to buy more clothes. That kind of just brings you around in a full circle, but like, we love buying new clothes. So yeah, I haven't filmed a sort of little like advicey video in a while. If you guys kind of want some more advicey tips videos, leave them down below. I'm curious to see if you guys want my advice or tips on anything else. Or if you like this kind of videos or if you don't like these type of videos, I don't know, let me know. Thank you guys so much for 30K. I literally hit it yesterday and that is so insane. Like we're literally up, we're literally 30% to 100K. Like that's so crazy, I'm really excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now because I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. Okay, bye, love you.